Hi guys, welcome back. If you haven't seen my full gym tour video, you can get there by clicking the card at the top of the screen. My gym is 4,000 square feet. It has everything from powerlifting equipment, bodybuilding equipment, strongman tools, a plow floor, cardio mezzanine, it has a fully equipped kitchen, bathroom with auto flushing toilet and urinal, bed scrolled up into a loft style corner, an office with open layout atmosphere, four bay doors, a huge sound system, and seven tons of HVAC capacity. My gym has more stuff than it doesn't have stuff. I overviewed all that more in the original video, but one thing I didn't share with you guys is what it's like actually using this place because we had just finished building this when we made that video. I'm very fortunate to have such a big space and budget to create something like this, but one of the things that I want to do in this video is share with you what you guys can do to build out your own space and some things that people are not telling you that you need to think about when you're building out your own space for a home gym. So let's get started. Let's go this way. So we're gonna actually start by making the point about this monolith that I bought. When you're building out a space to work out in, in your home, you're gonna work backwards from your needs and your wants, and you're gonna meet in the middle with the space that you have and your budget. One of the most common things people always mention about starting is you know, barbell, plates, power rack, you know, you've heard all that stuff before. So what I wanna share with you in this video is you gotta really think about what you really need, and you know, that's different for everybody. So for example, the monolith was essential for me, not just because you know, I squat heavy and the walk and the walking out is the hardest part of the lift. It's because I'm a content creator and I have a lot of guests here and we're always filming these workout videos where we have giant dudes. We just finished one with Martins and Joey. We are all different heights. There was a fourth person squatting as well, Sean, which wasn't filmed. And if we didn't have a mono, which you can adjust the rack height with a fully loaded barbell, we just would not have been able to film that video. So this monolith is a social butterfly. It's one of the most used things in this gym. And it's, it met one of my needs as a content creator. Come over here, I want to show you something. This is about how much space a home gym takes up. <laughs> With yes. the most bang for your buck pieces of equipment. Barbells and plates, stack them up on top of one another, get a pair of gymnastics rings well, to supplement. But you have all the 45s. You never, you didn't leave any for anybody else. Yes, I have all the you 45s, realizes? I have all the 100s, all the 10s, 5s, 2.5s. I don't have all the 35s because I don't want them. Nobody wants 35 pound plates. What a home gym is really about is two things, convenience and expression. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you one of the most used things in this gym, one of the most convenient things. Let's go. This is the most used thing in this gym and it's the most convenient. It is a kitchen. So what I'm saying is working backwards from my needs, I'm a content creator, so this gym has to kind of accommodate guests for creating workout videos. We have some really big, really hungry dudes in here. We have bodybuilders that have to eat every two and a half hours on the dot. Including you. Including me. I mean, I, I eat so much here, but it's just so convenient. And when Antoine was here, it took a few days because he works out in the best bodybuilding gym in the world for him to kind of come around. But after a few days having this kitchen here, I, I remember him walking out of this at one point and he was just kind of shaking his head going, yeah, this is the best gym ever. Like he knew it because he had forgotten so many things while he was getting a workout in over here. He had to keep coming back to the kitchen and finally when he realized he did it like 15 times, how much it was helping him. So the convenience is just, a, it's a really big deal. So what I'm gonna suggest for you guys building on a home gym space, have a little mini fridge, a full fridge, a mini <laughs> fridge, and just something that's some, some surface area, you know, make use of vertical space, maximize your space and really think about what's gonna make this convenient. Vertical space. Yes, vertical space. We're talking about getting really excited about convenience and simplification. That's why I'm excited about AG1 by Athletic Greens. AG1 is a daily supplement with 75 different ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. I love this product, and in a few videos prior to this one, I showed you how I use this when I travel. I'm also using it now when I'm bulking. It's very, very useful because appetite and digestion management are very important for me to keep a good relationship with eating and food. I'm just really tired of eating these large meals. This is so quick and easy. So I'm gonna show you a really cool trick here on how I uh, get this in real quick. Delicious washes. So you got eight ounces of orange juice here, one scoop of AG1. That looks like a scoop. Then, secret weapon. A little milk froth reaction watches. Isn't that cool? Look at that. It's so convenient. Very convenient and quick. It actually tastes better than just orange juice alone. So it tastes great. AG1 contains naturally occurring enzymes that bolster the digestive process, support your metabolism, and enhance nutrient absorption. Athletic Greens is giving my community five free travel packets 
and a year's supply of vitamin D with your first order. All you have to do is go to athleticgreens.com slash juji to get your free gift offer. AG1 is also vegan, paleo, and keto friendly. Did you get a good hand? Mm. I'm so proud of you. Mm. Yeah. Do, do your dishes. Do your dishes. <laughs> Keep your place clean. So let's go up here. Okay. We're talking about bringing our two worlds together, our life and our training. And I've had four home gyms so far. Um, this one being a gym home. But it was the dining room gym was my first one. My next one was Gym Fort. My next one was Jim Barn, and this one is called Jim Home. So there's a pattern that I've, I've uh, well, then yours <laughs> gotten your to where parents' oh, garage. My parents' garage was uh, Jim Zero, which was also really cool. Of the four gyms that I've created, my least favorite was Jim Barn. The reason was because it really did not meet my needs very well. For content creation, it echoed a lot. When it rained, it, it sounded like rocks were falling on the ceiling. It was dark. If it was cold outside, it was even colder in the gym. If it was hot outside, it was even hotter in the gym. Whatever temperature you didn't want it to be, it was even worse than that. But the thing is, that gym was pretty cool 50% of the time. And the other 50% of the time, I just got resourceful and found ways to get the training and the content creation needs met. So I created a strongman walkway out in the front so I could work outside. Also, I eventually just got a gym membership to supplement, which isn't really a bad thing. And it's important to know that you don't have to choose one or the other. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. You can work out at home and still work out at a gym. Both is better. Both. 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 Both is good. So scale, it doesn't really matter where you are in terms of how much space and what your budget is. You always gotta keep those two things in mind. Convenience and expression are the main reasons for building out an area in your home to work out. So if you look at this, this is really extravagant, but it meets my needs that go beyond the needs of mere, merely working out. And also you gotta think like, you always, want to have a sense of resourcefulness about you no matter where you are on the scale and no matter where you are in, meets, in, in terms of meeting your convenience and expression needs. So for example, when I had a dining room apartment gym, was, that gym was so freaking cool. I love that gym. And the thing is I couldn't do everything I wanted to do there, but I was okay with that. So I wanted to do some strongman log training while well, I would load that in the back of my little minivan find a cul-de-sac and I would just do some log training. Same with tricking. If I wanted to do some tricks, I either had to find a gymnastics gym or I would find a plot of grass or somewhere. So when we first moved in here, Sam, we, uh, we had a little uh, grassy area over there. Remember when I used to mow uh, a circle in the lawn to trickle? Yeah, when you were doing alien crop circles, yeah? Yeah, alien crop circles. So, I mean, maybe you're fine. Home... So what did you say? Signs. Signs, yeah. Dude, I always thought it was funny whenever the landscapers come here, you'd watch them get out and unload their equipment. They'd look at it and be like, what the hell is this? What is this circle for? They, they had no idea what to think of it. They had no idea what I did on that circle. Yeah, I know. It's for the mothership. It's cool. <laughs> Let's go down here. See my office? It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. What type of uh, keyboard do you, do you use? That is a Buckling Springs equipped Unicomp keyboard based on a Model M IBM keyboard. It is very loud, very obnoxious, and it sounds like this. Is it oddly satisfying? It's oddly satisfying. And that's just one of the things that you want in some of the equipment that you're going to be purchasing for your home gym. It's just something that's some odd satisfaction odd from Odd satisfaction yeah. about this. This is why people ask me on a podcast, hey, if you only have $100 to spend on one piece of equipment, what's it going to be? And I'm going to tell them a deadlift jack because it's a funny joke and because you can't do anything with it by itself. But it's just oddly satisfying to be able to jack up a, a fully loaded barbell off the ground with equipment. My bookshelf needs some work, though. I'm over here. My bookshelf exploded. This yeah. is what happens when you buy from Ikea or Wayfair. It just literally collapsed. I was sitting here typing and it just fell down. So I'm gonna put bookshelves all the way to the, up to the ceiling there. Yep, that's, that's, uh, that's great. It's gonna be funny because Very you won't be able practical. to get the books down or even see what's up there. We've uh, started to put some of the artwork over there from the covers of my programs yep. and my books. And the thing is that we're actually leaving this wall blank and this wall blank as well. 
Uh, a lot of people are like, you need to put like a big bodybuilder mural up there, or like a dragon or something. It's like, think how useful it is to have a white sweep or a white wall for product images. When was the last time you've been to a website and you bought something that didn't have a white background? It, it, it's, you know, thumbnails on Instagram, bright, sells, you click. If you can't tell what it is, you don't click on it. So this is the reason why I've kept these walls white intentionally because it does create a really nice filming effect and it has been super useful creating uh, product images and just filming videos over here. But those are needs that I thought of before I built this room. I knew I wanted that in here. When you're building out a home gym, it's just not about just barbells and plate and whatever exercise needs. It's about really satisfying needs that you gotta really dig deep to find. Is it listening to really loud music? Is it being able to yell? Is it to be able to work out in your underwear? Or just create stupid training videos that just make you happy? Well, those are the things that I really needed to do and those are the things that really grew my social platform. So home gyms, training at home, was, has been an essential strategy in me getting where I am today. What about this plow floor? What about it? It's a, it was a dream. It was a dream come true. One thing I was surprised is that uh, I thought it was unnecessary. Yeah, you use this thing more than anything in here. Yeah. It is my favorite thing in the gym still. It is, it is great. You definitely, I undervalued it. I, because there is this asset now, I do more recuperative work, mm -hmm. which I never really did before. Right. And it's been great. Yeah, you didn't even know you had that need until you found out what it was like to actually try it. And that's where- She's like, ah, oh, cement's fine. <laughs> cement is not okay. Plow floor, you know, the cost of it is less than any one piece of machinery in this whole room. It's not expensive. The fact is it just takes up a lot of space. But the thing is that it's just really good to stretch and lay on for your joints, your knees and everything. So just having like some mats that you can put in your, fold up and put inside any area that you're using in your home is a really good way of kind of scaling down but still meeting that need of yours. I mean, you probably didn't have until you heard this conversation, I suppose. <laughs> so a lot of the ideas I got for this place were from training in a lot of different places for a long time and just kind of like cultivating a taste. I really want you guys to think about if you haven't carved out a small area or a transformable area in the place that you're living in to train at home, you need to do it. Start with a barbell and some plates. Get a set of gymnastics rings. Those things, if you never used those tools before, you'll find uses for them that you didn't even know you had. And that's where you're gonna find a lot of the needs that you didn't know you had. It's just training in new places and trying new things and just experiencing it and just then you're gonna be able to express the best version of yourself. I don't know what I'm, but I'm what if, really excited about this. But what if people aren't at the point where they can financially express themselves? You can always cultivate these tastes and, and basically start to build a blueprint about what you want. Yeah. From the, your training and then subsequently from your Yeah, space. exactly, it's just set a goal. You know, just work backwards from that. But you know, when I was a kid, you know, one of the ways I did that was just by driving out to different fields and keeping a little catalog and a training notebook of all the different little places I found that I can go out and be by myself and no one would bother me. I could bring out any training equipment I wanted, but most of the time I was just did flips and stuff on grass with like a little boom box. And I did that for years. And I think it really did something in my development into an adult that just kind of like, I think it really just helped me be better <laughs> or just happier or just something i don't know it did something very good for me looking back it was very important that i had that instinct to go find places and be resourceful and just be able to express myself in, in training in the way i wanted in different places and then i eventually brought it all together at home for convenience and expression and it just kind of exploded into this badass room so don't let space limit your training no right? don't, don't let space limit your training don't let limits limit your training you know have, have good goals there and work backwards from them and just I could talk about this and I'll speak in circles over and over again, but it's on you guys. And I want you guys to comment below. What is your dream gym? What is it you're working towards? What are some unmet needs? What are some things that you didn't even think about? Were the reasons why you started training at home that when you started training at home, you were like, wow, I didn't even realize that was a perk of training at home. I just want a good conversation flow to go in this comment section so other people can read into it and be like, I'm going to do it too. 
because I want you guys to do it too. I want you guys to get the most out of this. I just want, I, I feel like it's just, it's freedom.